Wait, fa- <laughs> Wait, really? Is this- Unhandled exception. Is this- Is this her deleting? Not found, not found, not found. Please restart your game or refer to the official page. Oh! <laughs> She's deleting him! That's awesome! I love it. Oh, character girlfriend! No oh, jeez! <laughs> That's great! And welcome to GT Not Live, where today we're playing some Doki Doki Literature Club, but not in the way that you expect. No, my friends, uh, we're actually hopping into, I guess, what has become kind of the theme of like game theory and GT Live over the last like month or so, which is Friday Night Funkin', but also Doki Doki Literature Club. When two indie juggernauts combine, what do you get? You get you know, an inside joke that a very small subset of people actually get. Um, which, and I, I say that, but it's, it's weird to think about, right? Um, this idea that, like, gaming as a genre consists of things that, like, people to the outside world have no clue what exists. Like, the, the games that we play here on this channel, like Doki Doki and Five Nights at Freddy's, Friday Night Funkin', you ask people, like, you, you throw those out there, people would have no clue. Which is so weird to me that there's this, like, these levels of what gaming is defined as. Even on YouTube, it's, it's interesting. Because, like, when people talk about, like, gamers on YouTube or gamers on Twitch, they're not playing these games. Uh, which is, you know, they're, they're playing the Fortnites, Minecraft, obviously. Um, you know, you're, you're doing the long streams and stuff like that. Maybe, uh, maybe some people play Raid Shadow Legends. But that idea of, you know, that there, there really is this indie culture, and it has remained indie, you know, and some of these have been able to cross, like, Five Nights at Freddy's has kind of, like, gotten a bit more mainstream, but even still is, is relatively unknown. I think that's really fascinating to me, um, the levels of, of gaming, and like, oh, you're a gamer on YouTube, what games do you play? Like, someone the other day recognized me, or recognized that I was a YouTuber or saw someone else recognize me and then came up and like, oh, you're a YouTuber, what do you play? And, and I'm like, oh, I, I play like Doki Doki Literature Club and stuff. And he, like, whoosh. <laughs> like, I, that's right. He saw someone that recognized me and he's like, oh, you're a YouTuber, he, you know? And he's like, oh, what, what's your channel? I'm like, oh, Game Theory, whatever, GT Live. I do, I do super nerdy stuff online. And then they always ask like, what do you mean by that? And one thing leads to another. Video games, all oh, what games do you talk about? Like, oh, Doki Doki, you know, Minecraft, Friday, Five Nights at Freddy's. But, like, outside of Minecraft, like, shoo, nothing. <laughs> like, like, have no idea, which is fascinating. Because, obviously, this is a person who's very, like, aware of the YouTube space. And I think that that dichotomy is just really, really interesting to me. Um, it's also one of those things, too, where, like, even with YouTube themselves, like, we, we talk to YouTube a fair bit, we, we consult YouTube sometimes, we kind of give them advice or, like, the creator perspective on things, and, um, and, and, and that's one of those things, right, where we're like, hey, if you want to lean into gaming, sure, you, you got your Fortnites and your Minecrafts or whatever, but, like, there's this whole community that is, is so vibrant and so cool and so, like, unrecognized that is, it, but is, but is huge, like, bigger than you guys think. Um, we had that talk with, actually, back when they were doing things with Stadia, we had a talk with them, um, because they were talking about, like, what games they wanted to bring to Stadia, and we're like, hey, have you thought about, like, taking any of that funding that you're using to, like, license yet another edition of Minecraft, like, oh, Minecraft Stadia edition or whatever, and, like, have you thought about taking that money and, like, just funneling it into, like, small indie creators who are already e either, like, fan creators who are doing mods, or, like, establish smaller indie creators who can, like, create a game for your platform and, and differentiate it from, like, yet another place to play Fortnite, yet another place to play Minecraft. Nothing. <laughs> like, some, you know, a lot of times they're receptive to our, to our like, thoughts and stuff. <laughs> that time, like, nothing. <laughs> like, like, I was speaking to a wall. And it's, and it's such a shame, too, because I think that, you know... If, if with all the funding that like Google and YouTube and whatever all these companies have available, 
and all these, you know, smaller indie developers doing really awesome, really creative things, you know, you, you can make, you, for much small, much, much smaller budgets rather than just shoveling it into the Epic Games Fortnite pile, like, you can do so much more cool stuff and really create a value for the, for the platform that you're making as opposed to, you know, like, just making it like everything else. Anyway, long story short, Today we're taking, we're, we're doing a weird crossover, right? It, it's like a, like a Super Smash Brothers, but we're, we're mixing it up. So Friday Night Funkin' obviously has gotten a bunch of fan mods, and uh, we are, I, I had Matt hop in and find some good ones, and it looks like we got one from Doki Doki. What else we got, Matt? Uh, there's a, speaking of Minecraft, I found a Minecraft Steve uh, Yeah, is, Mine, is Minecraft Steve a, a good bebop oper? I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's more of an oof or is it, yeah, is he doing a lot of oof? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sounds like more of like a Roblox thing. <laughs> oof! Uh, um, Parappa the Rapper. Oh, wow! Which is one of the first video games that I ever played. No! <laughs> really? PS1 era of Parappa? We got it from Blockbuster. No, oh, yeah, of course. I, I'm Absolutely. that old. That's that's good. <laughs> it, I'm glad you got it from Blockbuster because that game is not long enough to yeah. merit buying it. It was Parappa people. the Rapper and uh, Mario Super Sluggers. Really? Some of the first video games I ever played. Really? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. Parappa, man. That's great. He's that's great. That's actually, so uh, we just did a Friday Night Funkin' Theory over on Game Theory, and um, we have the intros where I do, like, faux rap battling against boyfriend or whatever, and all of our beats are largely inspired slash taken from Parappa. Because I'm like, here's a game that is largely similar to this game, but with new songs. Uh, and so we have Yossi, our audio guy, uh, kind of like make a remix of it in order to kind of like fit it in. But uh, but yeah, that's really funny. Yeah. Cool. Were you good at Parappa the Rappa? I, uh, as good as like a child can be at a rhythm game, sure. I was fine. Okay. I got through it. Nice. You got through. Yeah. Uh -huh, you got to the end. <laughs> you got to go to the bathroom or whatever, you know, like all the adventures that yeah. Parappa gets on. Also, his character design is really just like appealing. Oh, yeah. No, the, I think that game, I think that game, I mean, like, obviously you see like how successful Friday Night Funkin' is. Like, Parappa was like the, the precursor to all of that, right? And the character design and stuff. It feels yeah. very reminiscent, so. Yeah. It's cool. All right. Hey, let's hop in. I'm curious to see these. So these are all new songs, right? Uh, yes. Pretty much? Yes. Yeah, great. Awesome. Uh, so I don't know. I, I've been kind of out of practice with uh, Friday Night Funkin'. I have not had much chance to play uh, nor practice these songs. So this is all me cold reading like I've talked about in the past. I, I value sight reading when it comes to these sorts of things. So hopefully I can do okay. Um, you know, I do miss the ability to... Uh, the ability to do it on a dance mat, I guess, but some some of these songs go so fast you wouldn't be able to do it anyway. Uh, but here we go. This is Friday Night Funkin'. Uh, we'll start with Monica Full Week Rebooted. And if you're interested in playing any of these mods, they are in the cool. description below, yep. right? Yep, Perfect. Yep. Description below if you want to check out any of these. So please give support to the creators. Uh, this is already great. I love the fact that it's it's Monica as girlfriend on the speakers. This is brilliant. I, I hope we are playing some um some actual doki doki songs i'm assuming story mode oh yeah free play yeah let's do story mode let's see what we got uh wow okay tracks okay so you got three you got easy hard okay so you got different levels wow all right so all all in let's do, we'll just do normal <laughs> like i said i've been out of practice lately oh okay we're starting in the video game level awesome huh i thought they deleted me after what I did to my friends. But where am I now? Beep. <laughs> oh, hello. Ski dip. Boop. You wanna sing? Beep die. Things are happening really fast. But you know what? I'd love to. Usually I'd play piano while I sing, but this isn't a bad change of pace. Good reference. So yeah. But are her lyrics poetic? Aw, oh, right set date. All right, let's see how we do. Like I said, got warm up here. This is not a Doki Doki song, so not that I recommend. But fast though, nice. There we go. <laughs> it's great. Oh jeez, I'm so, okay. Okay, okay. There we go. Get get warmed up into it. Here it is. Woo! Monica laying down those beats. Okay, okay, hey. Okay, Matt, hey. 
wake up, wake up. <laughs> Maybe this is not the game we should have played as I come back from an all night drive. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, hey. <laughs> so Oh, this is terrible. Oh, wait, he's got, the, he's got the blue balls. Hold up. Is he, is he going after Monica or is he going after girlfriend at this point? Okay, this is warm up. And not to make excuses, but definitely to make excuses. Uh, Steph and I were just in Ohio last week. And so in order, when you're driving with Ollie, you do overnight trips. Uh, so that way he sleeps in the car because it's about an eight hour drive. So we did drive all night. So I'm working off of like an hour or two of sleep in the car. Just, just to be fair. Car sleep is the best. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's actually do this. All right. Remember, remember how to play this game, Matt? I don't. Oh! It's nice to actually play the game, though, rather than think about the lore. Or, like, crossovers and Easter eggs and stuff. It's a nice change of pace. There we go. Okay. Yeah, definitely not more. A little bit better. I still gotta like. What is this song? Where'd this song come from? Look at him just chilling, like a cool villain that he is. Was Monica's soul trapped in here? Slightly better. Still not super accurate. Uh, okay. Ooh, bro. There we go. Okay, we got through it. We got through it. It was a big run, but we got through it. It's fine. Skidee bet. You kept up really well with my song really well. I kept, I, I kept up with your song about that. Oh, I haven't felt this happy in a while. Good. I'm so glad, Monica. You deserve some happiness in your life. Could we sing again? Yes. Careful. All right. Here we go. Oh, a new challenger approaches. Who the heck are you? Huh? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Boyfriend. <laughs> Worlds are truly colliding. Wait, is that my microphone? How the heck did you get that? <laughs> And what's that worm doing here? Bap. Didn't have enough fun making a fool of me last time. Did you? Now you're bringing more of your hideously attractive friends here to mock me once again? Hey, it's not... You, give me that back. I have another score to settle. Huh? No, wait. I was just about to... I said, give it! No! Delete him! Delete him, Monica! Delete him! Date. Date. Ooh, it's, it's a three-way rap battle. I love that girlfriend just still... Doing nothing up top. This is cute. Oh, it's 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 kind of like Doki Doki. It's kind of like a remix version of it. It's cool. So how does this fit into the lore? They're all simulations within simulations. Okay, so those were eighth notes. So the one thing I, I hope that they do in the final version of the game is I would love to recolor the notes. It's always something I like to do in BDR to know like where they fall in the line of the music, where like eighth notes are or like offbeat ones are one color, on the beat notes are another color, because all the different colors makes it really hard to sight read. Okay, that one was that was a lot easier than the first one, so I'll let that one slide. But yeah, as you're sight reading, it's one of those things that like in DDR, I, I, it was helpful to me to see like, oh, there's a yellow note coming up and I know that a yellow note is like a 64th note or like that's, that's kind of the ones that are most strongly associated with the gallops. Um, 16th note, 64th note, I forget. Anyway, 
but like those are the ones that are going to be on the the gallop lines whereas like red and blue are your eighth notes uh and so if i see a long string of red and blue i know it's just going to be like ba 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 Whereas if it's like, you know, I see a red and yellow, I'm like, it's ba da 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 And so over time, you're just able to like sight read things better because you associate colors with certain rhythms and beats. And I don't, as, as far as I can tell, the coloration of the notes in Friday Night Funkin' don't do that or don't have that. And so I do wish that, you know, hopefully in the final version, there's something that a lot, that does kind of like hit it a little bit more cleanly. So that way it's just easier to visually process rather than a long string of colors that fit into the line somewhere, but you're really dependent on kind of the pace of them hitting the top. That's at least for me at least. Uh, first you steal my things and then you pull something like that? Who do you think you are? Now step aside. <laughs> I don't think I will. You're on the, you on the other hand. What are you? Delete him. He's gonna get deleted. Oh, wait, ha <laughs> Wait, really? Is this unhandled exception? Is this is this her deleting? Not found, not found, not found. Please restart your game or refer to the official page. Oh! <laughs> She's deleting him! That's awesome! I love it. Oh, character girlfriend! Not, oh, jeez! <laughs> That's great! Monica altering the code. That's amazing. There, no more distractions. <laughs> Ski dap. <laughs> Translation. Girlfriend. <laughs> that's that's canon now. Ski dap. Every time we see Ski dap in in Friday Night Funkin', we know it means girlfriend. Let's get back to singing, shall we? Grrr. Hmm. Aggressive bebop noises. <laughs> awesome. I am angry. Oh, her. Hey, let's not worry about her, okay? Come on, I've got a very special song I've wanted to sing. Continuation of Bang Green Bebops. <laughs> One more song. Beware the notes of Marco. <laughs> oh man, this is all lore. I'm working on um, I'm working on my Doki Doki Literature Club Plus theory right now, and obviously we have our, our playthrough of the game still going on. Um, so still piecing everything together. But uh, I love I love all the references. It's so exciting. I, I again I love seeing the worlds colliding. Ooh. Oh geez. Okay. Just no one's here. Oh. <laughs> oh cool. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, hey, there's like little bombs now. Okay, watch. Come press. Oh, jeez. Oh, cool. This is amazing. Boss Monica in her space room. Oh, she's good. Okay, that was bad. Oh, damn, I, I can't defeat Monica. Just Monica. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 ooh, rough, rough. Nope, not good. That's okay, I'll stay in here in purgatory with you. Ooh, rough. No! Boyfriend, no! Try again, we gotta get, we gotta escape! Just Monica. Here we go. See, but that like would all be quarter notes, so they should all the same, be the same color. No, nope. come on, man. Down. Oh, okay. It's cool. Great. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, this is where it gets tough. Here we go. Let's see. Run, I gotta get better on those runs. Left down, up. No, nope, shoot, that's right. We're doing a little bit better this time, though. This is intense.
Yeah, okay, great. Oh, now he got a bunch of these bombs. Are they insta-kills? Yeah! There we go. Better that time. A lot better. I'll take it. He's gonna delete me now. You can't delete me! Hmm. <laughs> I should know better. Trying to interfere with people's love lives again. I'll leave you be. Oh, and we're back! I don't know. Girlfriend or Monica? Honestly, I think, I think, I, I think I'd stick with Monica. I gotta admit. So, you weren't the one who stole my mic? That blue-haired kid gave it to me when I showed up. I don't know where he got it. I don't even know how I got here, for that matter. Hmm. And what exactly happened after our unintentional duet? Oh, shoot, that missed some. Sorry. Temporarily, it's something I can do, but it's a long story. And that included that kid's girlfriend. So, deleted files. <laughs> Old habits die hard, as they say. You got his girl, too? Ha! I bet you really pissed that worm off. I wish I was there to see the look on his hideous baby face. He was mad. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Your performance wasn't that bad earlier. Care for another song? <gasps> yeah. Aw, and they walk off together. Monica Full Week! A new song is available in the free play menu. We hope you enjoy. Awesome! That was cool! That was really cool. I love that. That was really, really fun. I And, and again, like, you know, these sorts of crossovers. And mod modding community. It's so interesting what games get people excited to make their own like modded versions or their own like fan created stuff. Like, what is it about Friday Night Funkin' that gets people so excited to make their own versions and, and kind of include them? Same thing with uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Why that series in particular got people so excited to make their own Undertale was another one that had a lot of that. But other things like Bendy had, you know, Bendy and Link Machine, huge fan community, but mostly centered on artwork and not necessarily as much fan games. I, I, there were some, but like maybe not so much taking the world and, and spinning it off into their own. I don't know if it's tied to how easy it is to, to make new versions of the game or things like that, um, but it is interesting to see, you know, which games have such a big community around them and how the community chooses to express themselves. Uh, you know, some are more art-based, some are more music-based, some are more game-based, and I think that's always a really exciting, interesting thing. So, uh, okay, so that was the Monica one. Not my, not, not my best playthrough, certainly, but we got through it, and I will take it, uh, especially given where my mind is at today. So, uh, this is cool. Again, links are down below in the description. Now let's hop into, what, Steve? Uh, or you said it was Steve, and then also... There's Steve and Parappa. Oh, and Parappa, okay. Whichever you want. All right, let's hop out of here. I know that they said that there was one more song, but I think we've seen enough of this one. Your demise, your reality. Oh, cool. This was awesome. This is so cool. I love it. And the sprite work, incredible. Love it. it, it again, these are the sorts of things. I don't know how it would work in the full game, the final game, whatever, but it's one of those things that if there was a way to include all of these fan remakes into the... Here, we'll finish off with Steve, so let's do Parappa next. Um... Man, it would be cool in the final game if you were just able to license or partner with the the characters to, to include just everyone. Make Friday Night Funkin' final game into basically a who's who of indie titles and like online web series stuff. That'd be amazing. Who would you like to see rap battle against boyfriend? Um, Matt Pat, obviously. Clearly the Matt, the Matt Pat mod. Yeah, I think that you, you would body that. Yeah, I, I see that for you. <laughs> where, where all my, where Here. all my lyrics are just like cringy puns <laughs> and also kind of off rhythm because of how. I how saw sweet the Shmoyoho video you did. I know what kind of rhymes you've got. The Shmoyo, Shmoyoho, <laughs> Shmoyoho. They just take the, uh, they take an existing video and they remix. Well, but it, you so. have to have an inherent, you know, rhythm and flow to your. I speech. do have to have an inherent flow. I do have an inherent. Someone, uh, a drama teacher in high school, said that I talk in trochaic tetrameter. I feel like they made that up and they lied to you to make you feel special. Because that doesn't sound like a real thing. You know what, though? I feel, it made me feel special, and isn't that a teacher's responsibility? Did, <laughs> did he not touch a student's life that day? I guess he, I mean, you still remember it. I still it, remember it. So, you know. I really didn't like him too much as a drama teacher. Um, he, wasn't, he wasn't great. He was one of those, like, 
Oh no, he, he wasn't a great teacher, but he was a good. Yeah, it was nice. Our know? drama teacher, her nickname was Scary Terry because she had like four inch long acrylics, and she'd sit there and tap them on her desk. Really? And the the rumor was that she was a witch. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, she and she who knows she wound up being a Rick and Morty character because season one. Yeah. Has Scary Terry. No, exactly. There it is. There it is. All right, this is versus Parappa, the original Rappa. So this is good. I'm excited about this one because this is you know the OG versus the modern guy. So uh, here we go, the newcomers. Let's see how this one goes. I'm assuming this is also going to be a a song from the original game, or maybe a couple songs from the original game. Oh, we have tracks and tutorial. Oh, here's the week. Here we go. Uh, cheap, cheap toilets and noodles. All right, great. Some old school Parappa. Which, honestly, I'd love to go back and play. Uh, I didn't have PS1, um, so I didn't really... I, I knew all about Parappa. It always looked like a game I wanted to play, but I never really got to play it because I didn't own a PS1 until much, much, much later. So, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend arrive at Club Fun. Hey there, what's your name? Beep. Wait a second. Aren't you the boyfriend of that ex-Rockstar's daughter? Lore drop. The girl in the red dress, chilling on the speaker. Booskiti bap. <sighs> How about we rap to the crowd out there in front of us? You know, the crowd that is clearly there. Oh, they're there. The crowd out there in front of us. Just an oddly explicit thing to say. See, so yeah, Parappa had more laid back rhythms. Lesson one. Cool. Bad. I thought that was good. Figuring out. Lesson two. That was a very short lesson. Yikes. Not great. Cool. Nice. Take that, Parappa. I got gotcha. you. Lesson three. I will say that, uh, one cool thing about Parappa, unlike, like, all DDR songs and stuff are short, but the fact that they broke it up into such short lessons, that was, uh, was always really cool. Is Parappa a dog? Yes. Okay. Did you not know that? Sorry. I assume. Yeah. But I wasn't sure. It was, uh, it was unclear. It took me a while to figure out that he is a dog, so I wouldn't hold it against you. Uh, the hat kind of throws it off in the, the floppy ears. Yeah. It, it makes it hard. Also, this, five fingers. That's true. I never noticed that he had five fingers. Well, this, this drawing does. Sure. I don't know if real Parappa I, Yeah, I, I will have to go back and check, honestly. Maybe this is Withered Parappa. Sorry, that's a Five Nights, that's a five nights at Freddy's joke. I, when I'm talking Friday Night Function Five Nights at Freddy's, I get so confused in my head because they're FNF versus FNAF. Friday um, Night at Funkin. Friday Night at Funkin, obviously. It's, it's the fan crossover that we didn't know that we realized that we needed. It's actually, that is actually Security Breach. It's, it's going to come out here in a second. Uh, now that I see you're so well known, now I see why you're so well known. You're actually good at this. Oh, no way! Boyfriend actually says a word. He says, really? No way. Canonical, he speaks. So he up! <laughs> Game even acknowledges, so you can speak. Well, I, uh, beep. Well then, how about we continue? Hope you can keep up. Nervous beep boops. I like the, I like the, <laughs> the canonicity of him just beeping and booping all the time. No, whenever I think of Parappa rap, the Rappa, I always think of the Onion Guy. The Onion Guy is the most iconic. Oh, jeez, he's a fan. So this, this is actually the... This is actually the rhythm that we used for, um, this is the rap that we used for the most recent game theory on Funkin' Lore. Kick and punch the door. Time to go and check the lore. Time to go and check the lore. And we'll see if there is more. Yeah, this is exactly from it. Remember how I said, like, oh yeah, we're taking rhythms from Parappa, this was it. 
I'm good. <laughs> so I'm a little bit more familiar with this one because this is more like recently in my head. Okay, we're doing alright. Yeah, this is the one where he's waiting in line for the bathroom. Yeah, that's the one thing I appreciate about Parappa. Oh, rough. Okay. Um, not great. Uh, but Parappa's scenarios were so ridiculous and dumb. Like, this is him rapping his way through a bathroom so he can go poop at the end, which is pretty amazing. Okay, let me focus. I'm getting more notes now. It's all yours. There it is. There's some poop. There it is. He made it to the bathroom. It's actually incredible. The the expressions of the characters in the original Parappa are hilarious. The, the animation is so funny. I, I hope that Friday Night Funkin' brings more attention back to Parappa the Rapper because that was such a cult hit. Like, it's such a cult classic game that I feel like more people should experience because it was just so ahead of its time. It was so unique. But it's exactly this style of gameplay. And it's, it's, it's a blast. I don't know. It's really great. All right. My show's almost over for the night. It was fun to have you here. Well, it was fun to be here, too. I'm glad it was an experience for us both. How about we go out with a bang on this last song? You know what? Show me what you've got. You bet I will. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Here it is. It's cool to see the, the fusion of these two. Because like I said, Paraf is a lot more chill. You can even tell, like, the be the beats per minute, the BPM is, is just much lower than, like, a typical Friday Night Funkin' song. Really warming up the beat on this one. Just enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Dancing here. <laughs> there it is! There you go. I like how spread out these notes are. It's a little bit easier to sight read. It helps. <laughs> it helps me do a little less bad. Here we go. Nope. Uh oh. Oh no! What's gonna happen? Oh. <laughs> I expected there to be a character shift or something. Not quite. It was just a dramatic blackout for loading purposes. Nice. Lesson three. There we go. He was embarrassed by that last one. He fell off of the rhythm. Not the greatest left run, but that's fine. Yeah, you're right. I'm up for some noodle sushi. Great. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, that's really awesome. All the all the stats and stuff, breaking it down. Not bad. 
We got 269.6, 37 bads. Not too, not too shabby. Combo breaks five, highest combo 82. Hey, I will take that. Cool. That was really awesome. Great. So that is the Parappa mod, which was a nice walk down memory lane. Um, first game. Huh? That's a, that's an interesting game to kind of be introduced to first. Like it's a very unique style of game, but it fits with your personality. Like I can see why. That was a formative game in your <laughs> early years. And then you became a DJ afterward. Yeah, and here we are. Yeah, there yeah. it is. It's come full circle. It's also just like, well, I think that my older brother probably grabbed it and was like, we're going to play this. Yeah. Um, Simpsons Hit and Run, also very formative for me. Oh, man. Well, yeah. I don't know how that's impacted. I haven't <laughs> I haven't really driven with you, so I have a hard time, you know. Well, famously, knowing... I hate driving. So. Oh, well, there it is. You hate driving. Well, so... Because you're not hitting people along the way. No, exactly. Why? If yeah. you're not running over streets and, and you know, running over the grass and Are stuff. Are you what's really it? driving? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If your skin is not completely yellow when your hair is a part of your head or whatever, like Bart's is. And is it really driving? No. Have y'all done a theory about, like, his hair situation? No. What's the deal with Bart's hair? Well, I'm just like, is it hair? It is hair. Are we sure? I, I, it could be Because Marge literally that. has hair. And she does. Homer literally has hair. I know. But, but Lisa and, and Bart do not. We can we can look into it. We'll put okay. it on the list, okay? You know, like, that artist that uh, does, like, 3D renditions of cartoon characters? Yes, and it's and they're horrific. Yeah, the the Simpsons is, ones are horrific. Yeah, it's like skin. Yeah, it's real gross. Yeah. It's dark. You should, yeah. I, if only we had an image that we can show the audience of what this is. Can you make that happen? Uh, probably. Can we show it? I did, yeah. Here, let me let me lift that image up here. There it is. See it? Whoa! Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, that's hideous. Oh, it's so disgusting and creepy and weird. Oh, I'm so weirded out right now. That was odd. What an odd looking image that we've just put here. Watch you put in something completely arbitrary. It's like a photo of you. <laughs> oh, God, it's hideous. Oh, it's so, it's awful. Oh, it's so terrible. Oh, no. It's me. You know what, though? I wouldn't put it past me. Here we go. Let's finish things off with Minecraft Steve. Ah. Uh, would you like me to alt enter again? I would love that. You're welcome. Oh man, look at him. <laughs> look at him. <go. laughs> oh, this versus Steve demo. Play the game. Here we go. Uh, guys, it's still in beta, just like Minecraft was in beta forever. I love that all of them have a story mode too. All right, let's let's hop through it. I, I'm I'm curious to see if boyfriend. Oh wow. Oh wait, these are all. You gotta go to the bottom. You gotta go to bottom. Okay, I was gonna say. There it is. Oh, I love that everyone, maybe that's what it is. Going back to like what inspires people to do their version of a video game or to mod a game into their own likeness or their own way. I wonder if introducing the element of a video game within the video game encourages it. Cause you'll notice that everyone's kind of using uh, the, um, the senpai week, uh, the, the week in which they go into a dating sim as the one that they're altering. When we first played it, it was, that was when Purple Guy showed up, Monica showed up in that week, Minecraft Steve is showing up in that week. That seems to be the week and the aesthetic that people seem to be leaning in on the most um, because video games are in this TV, 8-bit, you know, kind of like pixelated style. It is interesting though. Um, here we go. Same songs? Ha <laughs> ha! Why am I in Minecraft? Uh, what the funk? Who are you? I don't know. Who are you? Steve. <laughs> Steve, this is a very classy Steve, by the way. You don't, you don't see Steve wearing a tux <laughs> too often, a little carnation in his lapel. Like, this is, this is high-class Steve right here, man. He got dressed up for this rap battle. Ugh. Ugh. I see you like music. Yeah, what about it? Wanna rap? Bet. <laughs> All right, well, I... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that Alex is back there too. Yeah, there's a lot of oofs. He's, he's not, he's... He's not so much rapping as he is, like, in the process of trying to hurl. <laughs> or getting punched in the gut repeatedly, you know? Listen, he's, he's in a survival game. 
Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I did not expect him to get this. Okay. He's doing like an ab workout while he raps, you know? Ooh, okay. Not great, not great. Okay, we're back. We're, we're, we got things under control again. There we go. Um, those fast runs are not great. You know, a lot of this game, of, I understand why people would want to like play these songs, listen to them in the background. I don't know if I'd want to listen to Steve oofing in the background. Like that's not, that's not really the like laid back lo-fi jams that I'm looking for. For my, as I'm like studying or working. <laughs> Poor Steve. He ate he ate some raw meat that did not uh, agree with his stomach. You look funny, lol. Though words, I believe it's tough words for a guy that's built like a square. Uh, excuse me, uh, he's a cube. Oh, what the f? Listen, you idiot. I don't know who you are. Steve Steve gets offended quickly, doesn't he? I don't know who you are or what your intentions are, but as far as I know, you're a griefer. Oh, man. That's harsh words. You won't like what I do to griefers. Oh, no. What are you going to do? Slash ban me. Ha <laughs> ha. Not funny. Okay. Rap time. Ooh, uh, uh, ooh, uh, uh. What's that sock back there? Should I know what that sock is? I feel like I should. Am I, sh am I dating myself by not knowing what the sock avatar is in the background there? Okay, a little bit. It's not quite as fast as I expected it to be. Wait, what? What, what is the tempo of this? Okay, not great, but I got there. Okay. I think I'm getting it a little bit. Okay, okay. Good to that, good Not great. We'll just try to get through this one. No. Oof, rough. All right. Where are those notes falling? I cannot figure out for the life of me where those notes were falling. Oh, hey, oh, he's got new armor. You're a dead man walking. Whoa. Any last words? Tuxedo Steve. Beep. Oh no, sticky keys. The, the bane, the bane of everyone. Uh, no, no one loves sticky keys. Get out of here, sticky keys. The bane of every Flash game in existence. You hit space, or you hit shift too many times. Hey man, how about instead of killing me, we rap battle. Great. We just did that twice. Shush. No, you. Okay, I think, I think Steve and Boyfriend are actually having uh, a lot of flirtation going on. Do you feel the sexual tension between the two of them right now? I do, now? yeah. Right? Like, it's... Girlfriend is there, but really, the electricity and heat between them, I, I'm, it's palpable. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel the heat? I don't. I don't think Matt feels the heat. You guys feel the heat, right? There is definitely aggressive flirtation happening here. It's like that, like frenemy thing, where it's like, ah, they're pushing on each other, then all of a sudden, you know, they start kissing. I, this seems like something you thought about. Uh, no, I, I'm just reading the room, Matt. <laughs> I'm just reading the sexual tension in the room right now. Boyfriend, look at that. Look at his eyes. Look at Minecraft Steve's eyes in this moment. He's, he's shooting boyfriend the, like, come hither look. He's like, uh, like. I guess so. You're not, you're not, you're not reading it. It's fine. It's fine. You don't have to yes and me in this moment. <laughs> Give me your honest feed. You're clearly not feeling it. But meanwhile, just... MatPad over here is, is playing Yenta, and if... I'm matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a fine, catch me a catch. And I found them a catch. If... Leave girlfriend at the door. There's Minecraft Steve. If somebody looked at me with that face in real life, I would be calling the police. <laughs> See? Because you would feel the sexual energy that they were throwing down. <laughs> That's like chaotic sexual energy. Sure. That's not. <laughs> Express yourself however you want, man. You do you. Love the way you want to love. Chaotic.
Chaotic sexual energy. Yeah! Here, look. There it is. See, look! The pregnant pause between them. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, fine. I'll rap battle you once more. Beep. See, rap battle. We all know what rap battle actually means here, guys. We all know what rap battle really stands for. Bruh. Bruh. Look, he even got dressed up in his armor. Huh? Huh? He's, all, he's showing off his sword. All sorts of stuff. Oh, jeez. Very fast. Okay. Nope. Okay. Rough. Okay, great. Okay. I would, again, like, on an options, I would slow down the notes a little bit. So I have just a little bit more reaction time. Okay, wow, they're fast. Slow them down, but keep them spread out. Ooh, rough. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, Steve. <sighs> rough. Okay. 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 We got through it. All right, we got through it. No, not, not, not the best, but we did it. Oh, oh no. Steve! Steve, what's going on now, Steve? Oh wow, Steve's gonna transform. Oh jeez, what's he gonna turn into? Was Steve this whole time a creeper? Hello, dear player. I see that you have completed the demo of this mod. Oh, okay. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I know the mod was pretty short, but I kind of wanted to get this done already. So yeah, as you may already know, this is only a demo of the mod. The mod is not completely finished. I love that there are demos of mods now. Like, I love that we exist in a world where it's like, hey, here's this game that is not fully out, mind you. It is still a demo of the full game that got kickstarted. Here's a demo of the game, and now we have a mod of the demo, and now we have a demo of the mod of the demo of the game. Think, think about that one. Does that blow your mind, Matt? Or no, am I the only one whose mind no, is blown by that? there's layers. It's right, it's, it's, very it's, it's like a teaser of a trailer mm -hmm. of a movie of a sequel or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. it's a demo of a demo of a demo of a demo. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a leak of a remix of a cover Yeah. of an original. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, there it is. That's perfect. <laughs> I love it. That's actually a really good one. Good comparison, actually. Thank you. That's Thank awesome. You. Mod's not completely finished. The rest is a uh, work in progress. And you may ask, what will the full version have? And the answer is, a lot! <laughs> Period. That's it. That's all you need to know. It will have a separate week. More decorations, more songs, more Steve sprites, cutscenes! More Steve... As long as there's more grunting Steve in it, that's all I care about. All the grunting Steve. Everything that you would want in a FNAF mod, FNIF, FNIF mod will be added. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a good day. I'll see you soon. If you do play the full version of the mod, of course. Okay, see ya. The cab ODS. Ha! Huh? Okay, see ya. Bye. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Oh. Great. Okay. I was, I was like, oh no, here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm down. Awesome. Well, there you have it, friends. Uh, three cool uh, Friday Night Funkin' mods. Uh, I, I feel good that I was able to kind of get back into it. That first Monica song had me worried, but I'm glad I was able to like, oh yeah, this is how you play this game again. Um, cool. And, and, you know, honestly, if there are ones that you think we should check out, ones uh, that you recommend that we play, uh, I will, you know, now that I'm getting back into it, I'll warm myself up so I'm not as, as rough on the keys anymore. Um, but this is great. Again, like, I love... If, if we're layer demos of mods and mods of demos and whatever, like, it, it goes back to what I said at the beginning of this, right? Like, we exist, GT Live, and, and Game Theory, too, to a large extent, exists in a level of gaming 
that doesn't, you know, that only a few creators and only a, a, a subset of creators really exist. Like, you have a lot of people who play kind of like the top games, AAA, you know, the mainstream stuff, like the Among Us's and this and that. And it's cool that we exist in this, like, little pocket world where we are, like, some of the most popular things that we play is fan community stuff. And that's awesome. And, you know, to be able to uplift new creators whose you know work has just taken off Friday Night Funkin to be able to celebrate people who are inspired by those you know the fan mods and are using them to tell their own stories that's awesome and so like you know come exist in our little niche with us come live in our little like world beyond world beyond world beyond world where we're like hey we are playing the the most you know filtered down version of all this like the the five steps below everything else not in a bad way but like five steps removed from the original source material that's cool i like that i love the place that we sit in in the gaming landscape and sure sometimes you pop out and play a mainstream thing here and there and that's fine and that's fun uh, but i love this is the stuff that i love i love seeing the stuff that you guys create the games that are you know being are figuring themselves out in a lot of ways um by creators who have, you know, really cool stuff to say. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let us know if there are any other mods you recommend us checking out. Obviously, this game has a lot of them, uh, and more will only continue to release as we wait for the full release of Friday Night Funkin'. Um, and, I like, and I like rhythm stuff, so please send them our way. Uh, let us know what you thought. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See you in the next one. Bye!